This is unacceptable. This is super duper cooper bullshit. <laughs> Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 Season 1 Reloaded Start Times and Details. And I'll tell you what, the details suck the big one, bros. It's ridiculous, man. It is absolutely ridiculous. For as much fun as I have playing this game, that seems like it's a contradictory Tory statement there, but the amount of bull crap adapty doop dops is just, it's ridiculous. It's stupid. I mean, let me just show you something here before we go any further here, talking about the nonsense. I mean, look at the maps, bro. The maps that we have for Modern Warfare 2 suck more or less, and there's none of them. And then you look at all the maps that all the other games had, all the other camp franchises had with Black Ops Cold War 69, bro. Modern Warfare 75, and I understand, obviously those are from launch. The thing I'm trying to get to here is that for season one reloaded, what we can expect is a whole lot of nothing, the point is, compared to previous Call of Duty's titles. The amount of content that 6v6 actually is getting, we had from launch, Okay, I thought, hey, from launch, you know what, man? From launch, it's pretty low. It's not that good. But maybe the new season one update that's coming like a few weeks after launch will rectify that egregious mistake by the Infinity War developers. Nope. And then season one came out and I was like, oh, the only new map that we got was a remake of a remake of a remake. Shoot house. That's all we got which has been played out like your mom's pussy. It looks like roast beef. Looks like a blown out tire left by the side of the road on an interstate freeway by a semi truck. And then I'm like, oh cool. So the season one update and new information and new gaming stuff is all coming out for Reloaded, right? I'm like, yeah, all right, Reloaded. And what do we expect? Let me just tell you what we're getting. And I'll tell you right now, it's a whole lot worse than the cold that Santa's gonna give you for Christmas. Call of Duty's Reloaded updates generally bring additional weapon balancing and bug fixes to both games. But players can also expect two new operator bundles in the shop, cool. That's we're not giving you actual content for free. We're not going to actually give you content you want. We're not going to give you content that's actually should be, you know, expected for a game that has, you know, 3,000 people in three years to make, right? No, we're going to give you some bundle stuff to spend more money in the shop. A new weapon to unlock. Great. Who cares? No one cares. Those guns usually suck anyways. The big one, they're not any good. So what are we going to get? Okay, so this is, this is it. New weapon operators. A new assault rifle. Cool. All right, right on. A new weapon will be able to unlock either for free with an in-game challenge or the gun can be purchased outright in a store bundle. All your Call of Duty Shield athletes and Activision paid content creators who get flown out for free to sell this game. We'll be buying that and showcasing it for sure on Twitch or YouTube. All right, for the new operators, no one really cares. What I really care about is, here it is, for multiplayer, this is what we need to get to. The iconic shipment map for 2007's Modern Warfare is making a return. Oh, wow, we're getting shipment again. I'm sure you guys are super duper cooper excited about that. Rough, rough. Like, dude, so the point is here, man, is that we had, like, no maps on launch. Great, fantastic. Season one update. I'm looking forward to some new maps. Do we get new maps? Nada. So we got Shoot House, and then now we get Shipment, which is just a remake of another remake of our map from six years ago. Well, five, but by the time this comes out, you know, played 2023. That's six years. I do math quick, call me Asian. Great. Awesome. That's really cool. Um, apparently there's a rumor that there's an R map coming out, which is a remake of the castle map from World at War, which played absolutely trash on Vanguard. So we're getting a remake of a remake of a remake. And then we're getting a new map that's just a remake of a game that was like 15 years ago that was remade in Vanguard that we're going to remake again. The level of creativity and just the content we're getting here on this game is just, I need to take a drink of water because I'm just, you know, I'm getting heart palpitations by the excitement. Give me a, give me a second here. I got myself settled. So it's fantastic. The content we're getting is absolutely nothing. And this is unacceptable. This is ridiculous. I think we need to storm the beaches of Normandy and demand that we get some actual content. Like, honestly, where are the maps? Like, where are the maps? This I have this all saved out here, man. I have this all saved out to show you. I mean, I could go through all the maps and let you know and tell you how many maps were released on launch, but you guys being called the elite game and stuff up and athletes know that, so it would just be a waste of your time. But, you know, we had lot of games launched when we thought there was no maps with 10 or 12. And then after the first season update, I looked. After the first season update for all these previous games, we got like three or four new maps. We're getting 
one or two that are just remakes. Like these guys literally have 3,000 people, but apparently they don't have enough people to actually make content for every map and every game mode, rather. Holy Jesus, man. It's really crazy. Like, you know, listen, you know, I'm sure a lot of you who play the game, I mean, there's some good aspects to it. Obviously, it's not horrible. We've got a lot of time in the game, playing the game. It's Call of Duty. We're going to play it. But, like, the, the bar is so low when it comes to, like, actual freaking, like, content. Like, I, I've been saying this for a while, and I, I think it speaks pretty true, is that Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 2 and multiplayer 6v6, for that fact, seems to be an afterthought, right? Like, you know, there seems to be, like, I think what they're looking at is the player numbers, and they're looking at where everyone's at, and then they're, you know, delegating resources to the areas of the game that are actually are, you know, seem to be populated. I, I for the love of me, I, I mean, I guess, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just an overall old school OGs here. I don't know, but like the, the, the neglect that 6v6 gets, I don't know, man. Is it really that bad of a game? Like, are people really not playing the game? Is it like, is that what's going on? Like, is that why they don't put the resources into it? Or are they just like inept and they don't have enough skill because it takes them so long to work on other parts of the game that they, you know, have to pick something and they realize all the eggs in the basket where all the money's at is in Warzone maybe? Is multiplayer simply just a Warzone gun ranking up system now? Like, is that what it is? It's really a, really, I don't know, man. Like, it doesn't, you know, like, like a lot of stuff that's going on in the world the last few years, a lot of it doesn't seem to make any logical sense at all. It seems to be like we're, we've been fell into some kind of dimension with the Hedron Collider that just put us into some, I don't know, Mandela effect of just repeating, you know, the same day over and over again where we just, you know, stub ourselves in the face. I don't know what the hell it even means. Just like, I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm, I was confused by that sentence and what the hell I was trying to get to is I'm confused by the decisions that these people make that just don't provide any content. I don't know, man. It's It must be, like I said, there must not be enough people playing these modes so they put their energy into other things, which I don't agree with. I don't believe. I think really what it is is they just don't have enough skill to be able to delegate their resources accordingly to actually get stuff done. This is really ridiculous. Season 1 Reloaded. That's two updates, no maps, barely any content. Ridiculous. Thanks for watching. I am the Ghost.